So this is present day Amelia, it, the day I'm uploading this vlog, Amelia. Uh, this is stuff from like two weeks of Amelia vlogging that I thought, you know, I was getting back on track. I was gonna vlog a bunch of stuff and then life happened. So I just combined a bunch of clips, putting it up now, um, and then I'm putting together a separate vlog about specifically about the food pantry and the changes we're making there because that has occupied a large chunk of my time last week <laughs> so I'm gonna make a separate video about that plus I think that's interesting we had to completely change a lot of things <sighs> so I'm just I wanted to get this vlog up this is a basically this was a before the pandemic hit vlog and then um I'll put together one for you know, modern times, just catching everybody up. Who knew two weeks would be such a difference, but here it is and enjoy. Okay, stay safe. <laughs> Hello, welcome to the vlog. Welcome to what is going to be me normal vlogging back to Amelia who normally vlogs. I'm not really sure what happened. There's been a lot going on the last couple of months and the vlogging has kind of taken a back burner. Nothing terrible, just, a lot of stuff happening and I have been trying to focus on the stuff that had to get done and so the vlogging yeah but we're back uh today was was is Saturday so mom and Isaiah had rehearsal Abigail missed rehearsal today because she has a cold and we're being you know smart and not going to things sick um and I usually run errands with dad but I just hung out at the studio and <laughs> edited a vlog, made a disc of recital music for one of our teachers, and just, yeah, hung out and did nothing. And then we went to Meyer because I needed gluten-free hot dog buns. Well, just sort of buns in general. Hot dog shaped is fine because I'm making uh, vegan gluten-free meatball subs. Well, sort of. Vegan and gluten-free for me and mom, and just vegan, not gluten-free for the rest of the family because they don't need gluten-free. Mom and I are the only ones who are gluten-free. So... I'm gonna go get the meatball started. I've never done this before, so it'll be fun to see how it goes. Um, I think it's gonna take a little bit of time because I gotta cook the meatballs and then assemble the sandwiches and then cook them again. So I'm just gonna go start the meatballs. Let's go. So these are the meatballs I'm using for the gluten-free people and these are the meatballs I'm using for the not gluten-free people. Although, let's be honest, mom and I are not gonna eat all uh, three, six, nine, twelve of these meatballs, but... <laughs> That's the idea, anyway. Ta-da! And into the oven they go. Ta-da! I'm gonna take all of the gluten-free and put them in here and cover it with sauce. And then this is the sauce I'm using. Simple sauce. I'm gonna pour all of it over here make the gluten-free sandwiches, and then add the gluten meatballs to the rest of the sauce. That way we don't cross-contaminate. And I don't think we need two jars of sauce, that'd be overkill. So these are the gluten-free ones using char hot dog rolls. And then these are the gluten ones that are so much bigger and were so much cheaper. They're just like sub, sub buns from the bakery section of Kroger that were marked down and uh, incidentally, accidentally vegan. Now I need cheese. Ta-da! I use this cheese, which is my very favorite vegan shredded cheese that exists. It's so good. Well, anything by this brand is really good. Uh, okay, in the oven. Oh my goodness, look again with the yellow. Don't know why we've got yellow going on. Nothing is yellow, but they look amazing. Uh, also, I made sweet potato fry things. Hello, happy Sunday. I didn't vlog anything today. I went out of town and did some errand running uh, outside of our small town. I did some stuff at Walmart and some stuff at Aldi. And then I went to Kroger because we needed groceries that I didn't find at Kroger <laughs> or at Walmart and Aldi. Um, and I found this, which I've never seen before. This is Mountain Dew Zero Sugar Baja Blast. And I've heard all of the things about the Baja Blast flavor, but I've never been able to try it because I can't have high fructose corn syrup. It is one of my migraine triggers. So I've never been able to try it. And so today I found it with zero sugar. Um, so we're gonna try it. If you don't know, I have a Mountain Dew addiction, a diet Mountain Dew addiction. It's like my last vice. And I know it's terrible for me. 
I get it. I understand. It's my last vice. Um, I'll work on it when I'm ready. <laughs> but we're gonna try this. So let's uh, let's open up. I don't know if this is gonna taste. Oh wait, hold on. Open up. Obviously, this won't taste exactly the same as the regular one with sugar because it never does. But I'm gonna taste it anyway. Smells like Kool-Aid. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, it's like blue flavor. I like this. Oh no. Oh no. It's good. I don't know if it's gonna, I don't know if it's better than regular Diet Mountain Dew. Oh, we have so much stuff out right now. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> definitely good mm. okay so I'm getting ready to make dinner it is like 6 30 and I'm making a sausage pasta like a Tuscan sausage pasta stuff I'm gonna use this pasta from Aldi which is amazing and let me get out what else I'm gonna need oh there's a magnet on the floor oh wait nope oh, there we go oh no I'm dropping things Hot Italian Beyond Sausage, and I think I'm gonna use these tomatoes, um, or I might use a can of diced tomatoes, and garlic, fresh garlic. I'm gonna mince up some fresh garlic, yay. And I'm gonna need white beans. There we go. See, baby beans, okay. And I'll need some avocado oil. This is my favorite kind of oil. If you were wondering, love avocado oil. And then I'm gonna close you because I actually need to get on Pinterest and figure out what else I need. <laughs> Once again, the iPhone is making everything look yellow, but, oh, there we go, better coloring. This is what it looks like. It's so good. The tomatoes break down and there's white beans and sausage and it's in just like the cooked juices from the sausage and the butter and the olive oil or avocado oil and tomatoes. And then you just add it to the pasta and it's so good. Hello, happy Friday. Welcome to pandemic pandemonium. Uh, it's Friday, today was Thrive Day. We had our Thrive delivery. We sorted through most of the stuff, didn't quite finish. We'll come back on Sunday. Um, but that took most of the day. It's four o'clock now and I'm headed to the grocery store. I'm going to Kroger on a Friday in the middle of pandemic pandemonium. I've already, like, we've already had some chaos happening. Like, our Kroger has been out of hand sanitizer for three weeks. And we use, I use hand sanitizer a lot because I have hand eczema and washing my hands with water makes that worse. So whenever possible, I use hand sanitizer to avoid my hands becoming um, bloody, cracked messes that would be you know, unsafe for everyone. But they've been out of hand sanitizer for three weeks, so we're slowly like <laughs> rationing our hand sanitizer at home. So that was the first thing. And then when I went to Kroger on Tuesday, the toilet paper aisle was like almost empty. And I was like, what is everybody doing? And people are panicking. And I'm not looking forward to this Kroger trip because going at four o'clock on a Friday is usually like busy as it is. So I'm pretty sure this is just gonna be a nightmare, but um, we'll see what happens. Hopefully there's food. Hopefully there's food we can eat. But yeah, I think I might actually run in the dollar store first and see if they have hand sanitizer because I do actually need that. Not like, oh, I'm prepping for a disaster. Like, no, I just genuinely need hand sanitizer to sanitize my hands. Wish me luck. Well, that was an experience, so. Um, it's 5.30, <laughs> 30 minutes, oh, 30 minutes to check out, which honestly, not bad, all things considered. Um, it is a mess inside. See, part of the problem is I think spring break was supposed to start and people were supposed to head out of town tomorrow because I heard several people saying like, I just came here because I don't have any groceries because I thought I was going on vacation tomorrow. <laughs> so there's all these people who school is out for spring break 
or something like that. And now they can't go on spring break because like everything's closed. <laughs> so it was a mess. The uh, toilet paper aisle. Well then. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That in and of itself was an experience. Uh, still no hand sanitizer. Dollar store had no hand sanitizer. Kroger had no hand sanitizer. Now I'm gonna run in every other random store in town I can think of. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Just looking for hand sanitizer. Uh, Cause I like my hands and uh, washing them is just really not working. My hands hurt. <laughs> Here, wish me luck. You make us want to sing. 